Hi, welcome to Bedrock. It looks like your child's school has started to use Bedrock. This is great news for you, as this is something all learners can work through independently. However, everyone needs a bit of praise, encouragement and intervention at some point. So what better way to support your child than signing up to find out what academic words your child is learning on Bedrock, as well as the progress they're making in terms of reading and vocabulary development. How do parents and guardians log in? Now, I'm going to take you to the website, so it'll make it a little bit more like what you'll experience. So once you've clicked the login button, you'll notice it comes to a different URL. This is what you'll want to save in your home browser. So it's https colon forward slash forward slash at bedrock dot um, bedrocklearning dot org. Now you'll notice I've got it on student tab. I'll want to press the guardian teacher tab before you've when it's the first time you've logged on you need to click guardian sign up if you're um, signing up through the school and the school is giving you an access code you press access code if you haven't got your access code yet it's worth asking teachers um, if they can share that with you because it's very clear where it's um, they can find it on the teacher dashboard all you need to do is type in your child's name, your school access code, your email, so we can send across um, all the data that's going to be useful for you and your name and last name so that we can make sure that you're getting that progress and engagement data. Now, if I sign in to show you your account, you will be seeing it like so. So if my child was Becca Joyce, this is what I would see. I wouldn't have my classes on the left hand side because I just have my one child. Um, but you can see here I've got her progress, her knowledge organizer, so words that she's learning on bedrock, what she's been working through on bedrock, the badges she's earned, certificates she's achieved, and I can also see the points she's accrued. So each week we will send you the activity report on how um, Becca is doing. If the smiley face is green, she's on track and uh, beyond you know, where she needs to be, she's getting um, at least 20 points on bedrock each week. If it's amber, she's doing okay, but maybe needs a bit of encouragement. If it's red, she needs intervention. She wants you to make sure that she is definitely doing bedrock. Sometimes our children just need that little nudge. If it's grey, it means they haven't logged in at all. And you can actually see when they last logged in as well. If you want to see their progress, which is the improvement they're making between their pre and post test on each of the topics on bedrock, you can see that here. And you can just select um, for instance, I want to see how Becca has been doing this last academic year. And it shows me she's making 244% progress um, between her pre and post test scores. So before she's getting that teaching on bedrock, um, she, she, she understands 27% um, of the words. And by the end, all those um, bedrock lessons and all that teaching, she's getting on average 93%. So that's really, really great improvement. Now you can see the specific words Becca is learning in her knowledge organizer. So any words that populate vocabulary I have learned, they're words she didn't get right in her pretest on bedrock, but got right in her post test. So she has learned them. They don't just stay in this column. What we do is we give her a memory check quiz every month just to double check that she's not forgotten them. And you can actually click on the word yourself, see, um, see what um, she's learning and actually you can see the writing she's doing and make comments as well. This is really useful when sometimes we need to double check um, what what's the description of the word or an example of the word or what's the word class um, because sometimes we need to jog our memories. Um, any words that are in this column, vocabulary I'm learning, 
Becca's still struggling with. She's not got them right, quite right in the post-test and she didn't get them quite right in the pre-test. So she'll have recap activities on um, through our deep learning algorithm being re, um, reintroduced to her and recapped with her. Um, but it might be worth bringing these words up and, and trying to discuss them with her um, in you know through um, talking because um, sometimes we just need that little nudge from all angles so it's worth knowing that they're words and we do have resources that you can use at home to support that learning further um, and then again these are words that she already knew on bedrock um, before she she got onto bedrock so the pre-learning um, she got them right in the pre-learning quiz Let's just go back before I get ahead of myself on the progress tab. Um, you can also see how she's getting along in the whole curriculum. And you'll notice here it's not just the blocks. So bedrock vocabulary is broken down into blocks, topics, um, lessons and words. So you'll see here we've got block three all the way to block 16. And in fact, you can see it's huge. Um, and it's broken down into each block, which is an academic year's worth of teaching, is broken down into um, 10 to 14 topics. Um, for example, you know, on block four, they might be um, reading about King Midas and the Golden Touch. And within that reading, they will learn these tricky words. And that's what we teach them on bedrock. So we've got that, but also we have um, um, the bedrock um, GCSE English schemes of learning. So if you have any students that are starting to um, develop their GCSE skills and, and read some of those set texts, particularly the pre-1900s texts, um, then it is worth having a little look at um, those schemes of learning as well and seeing if a child can start to benefit from those too. So I touched on support, but again, there's our number, there's our email, um, and we love to hear from you via all our social channels. You're doing a fantastic job as always. Um, thank you for watching this video.